record it and see what happens. <laughs> okay. All right. You know what? Um, Hi, everybody. Hello, everybody. We're welcome. here being crazy. <laughs> New Earth. We were going to do a show, and then we, we didn't know what we were doing, and we all showed up at different times. So the we're new, here on the New Earth AC. <laughs> and it's Wednesday, <laughs> October 13th. Wednesday, the, what is today? Wednesday, the what? The 13th, 13th of October, October, 2021. 2021. So the numerology is 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So one then, right? So isn't this the one? One. Wow. Pretty yeah. cool. I wonder if that has any uh, reason why we all kind of ended up late. I don't know. Is it? A, is, I don't know. I don't know. I was early. I I was, oh, I was early. The only one. Were you, I were was, you sitting I was here by yourself? David with the little circle when he finally texts and goes, I'm going to be 20 minutes late. <laughs> oh, okay. And then I was even later. How long has it been? Like an hour? Hour and a half. Yeah, something like that. Well, yeah. An hour. Yeah. Sorry, I kind of like. Oh. I don't know what ha what's happening, what time it is, what day it is, and I don't even have any clue anymore. I just woke oh. up this morning. The dog smelled like um, really bad. <laughs> I won't say the words. And <laughs> sweaty. And, you smell sweaty. And I thought to myself, I have been trying to get this dog clean and wash him off for like about a month now. And I really just need to take him in and give him a proper bath. And so I ended up uh, first thing in the morning, taking the dog into the brand new bathroom, trying to give him a shower, but yet he wouldn't go into the shower part. So I'm like, he's in the bathroom and I'm trying to like wash him off and everything and everything got ruined. But uh, hey, the dog is clean. All right, and guys, I run out of time. Like TikTok. Freshness. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a, a guided meditation. Pick one. And it is going to start off with Robin taking us in. Oh, Robin's God. In. <laughs> so, David, where are we going to go? We didn't... <laughs> I don't know. We're going to just let them take us wherever. Uh... Wherever is needed. It, whatever <laughs> helps the collective we'll just say okay that. so um we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna connect to our hearts okay we're just gonna connect to our heart for a minute and we're gonna breathe in um energy from the great central sun from source from all of our guide teams and we're just gonna breathe that energy in when then we're gonna when we breathe out we're going to let go anything that's happening in our world that doesn't serve us at this time. So take a deep breath in and wash away everything. Take a deep breath out. And really, when you take the next deep breath in, take it right down into your heart. And really just connect to the space inside of your heart. And then we're just going to follow the feather. There's a feather that's just floating down in front of you. And we're going to blow on the feather. And the feather is going to go somewhere. So let's just blow on the feather and see where it takes us. It's spinning and it's just flowing left and right and up and down. And today the feather is taking us up, up, up into the higher rounds, up into the sky. And I'm seeing a mountain off in the distance and birds flying. Big, huge birds. There's a big, huge type of hawk or eagle.
and it's flying down around the tip of the mountain and landing down into the mountain top. And they want us to take a different view, a different perspective look at the earth and to just take it in. And if anybody wants to take it from here, you're more than welcome. I feel like David has something. We just imagine ourselves um, at the top of the mountain with source energy, star consciousness energy, all coming in, filling up our energetic fields. And as we're sitting at the top of the mountain, in a sacred, um, it's a big mountain top where we're all sitting down on, um, looking over at this amazing view, seeing everything, seeing the birds flying, and um, we're just going to call on the ascended masters to come surround us on the circle to assist us to really bring this mountain energy that they always like to connect with. So we're going to connect ourselves with the um, energy of the mountain. If there's beings living in the mountain, they're not, we're not connecting with them. Sometimes they do. Uh, we're just connecting with the mountain energy specifically only to understand more about how magical this mountain energy is. Um, and it's connected to all the mountains. So when we connect our heart to the heart chakra of the mountain energy, we just breathe it in and it will assist in raising our vibration and it will connect with all the other mountains and we just feel into this energy to get to know it a little bit. Breathing it in and exhaling it into our field. And feeling how it's connected with Gaia and feeling that it's it's grounding into Gaia. Um, it's almost like the mountain has its own pillar of light that goes right into Gaia, right into the core of Gaia. And also all around it, it's Feeling into the energy, how it goes all around. <sighs> feeding into the trees, feeding into the land. So it's just feeding into the grids of Gaia as well. <sighs> and the pitch. It just feels like it's, it's overflowing. So it's going up our soles of our feet or our root chakra outer crown, creating this fountain-like energy around our field. So it's going to attempt to talk to the, the mountain that even is. Uh, and it's going to ask, I don't even know where we are right now. <clears throat> Mount Fuji. I think we're at Mount Fuji. I feel like it's a it's also a volcano. It's not just a normal mountain. It's like a place of where a volcano is. The volcano is not erupting at this time, but it feels like a place where there is a volcano. So it's gonna ask it why do the masters always connect with this mountain energy? Why do they always connect with you? Why do they connect with you? It's an amplifier. I'm getting that at this up in the mountain area is very pure and untouched land that they don't, we don't normally inhabit the inside, like the mountain area. So it's very clean and the energy is very strong. 
in the mountain top areas of the earth. It is very cleansing and purifying. And being at the top of a mountain, you can see a totally different perspective than being down in the normal part of the land where we usually reside. But I'm seeing something like in this mountain, I don't know if you guys are seeing it, but it's almost like there's like some kind of um, portal or something where there is like ascended masters or some kind of other types of um, beings that are more etheric and mm -hmm. they reside in this area. I don't know if they're just moving in and out or what they're doing. Magnetic energy. It's got, do they ever measure mountains for magnetism? Does it, does it put off magnetism? I've seen it. It's almost like it's got a charge. It's charging at its core. Like it's um, like electricity almost in a way. Uh, sorry. Is it blue? Is it a blue portal you're seeing? Because I'm seeing at the core, there's this blue, like electric field. Uh, It's like bluey purple, indigo y kind of color. I wonder if it's a magnet. The magnetic grid. The mag I'm just going to try to about. touch it, put my hand in it to see if we can really yeah, pull it. Bring, bring I'm it. hearing there's a lot you can learn from this the mountains, the magnets, the, the, the magnetic field. There's a lot that we could learn if we studied the mountain. And there's keep showing me these like um, bursts of, um, they're like steam. I don't know what to call them. What are they called? You get them in the water as well. Like they're like these, um, it's like a volcano coming up, but it's like a steam kind of thing inside the water. Something about that and something about that, it, it can generate energy for us if we learned how to use them. Do you know what I'm talking about, guys? Mm -hmm. What they're called? I don't know what the name of them are. They're like, they're like in the ocean and they, and they shoot up and it looks like a volcano coming up inside the ocean. It's like all these bubbles and stuff. Geysers. Steam. Yeah, that's it. That's what the name of that is. Geysers. Thing, we could learn from that. We could use, we can harness the energy from that and it's clean energy. I don't know. I don't know anything about this. I'm not a scientist. So I don't really know. Something about that we could utilize the magnetics and these, this natural. It's an, it's definitely an energy stream and it goes bring, up. It's bringing the energy of fire and water together. And it goes all the way down. Uh, it, Let's ask it, the purpose. It, it, Why are you bringing us here? What do you want us to, what do you, what is the intention? of why we were brought here. Is there something for the collective that they would like us to, to learn from this? Or anybody getting anything? Uh, space travel, it's connected to space. I think that's why the ships come into the mountains. Mm -hmm. So, Are you getting that they use this area to go in and out with, David? Like in the oh, yeah. corners? Oh, yeah. But it also goes down. Um, I bet you that crafts could travel through this energy right into the inner earth. Guaranteed. Oh, yeah. There's so showing much that, that happened. The and then Okay, geysers well. and stuff. Okay, this. There's like a whole nother world that's going on here. 
This is bizarre. Uh, <laughs> it's always bizarre when we connect. Mm -hmm. Bonnie, are you getting anything? Holy smoke. What, David? I think, I think like that whole Lumeria, that whole inner earth, everything can be accessed this way. Like, um, uh, you know, I know, I know you can connect with inner earth in a, in a variety of ways, but it, it's, it seems like a unique way. Does every mountain have a portal like this that goes into the inner earth? Or is it only certain specific ones? It's almost like they're saying they're like natural pyramids. They work in the same way as the pyramids do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. There's keepers, there's spirits there that are keepers of the energetic fields and the grids that run through there. I'm asking, can we speak to one? Can we? understand why we're here. I'm just saying that it's just the beginning. This is wonder and wonderment that we're having, that we're seeing, what, just looking at this is the beginning of learning what, what our earth is capable of and what its natural state of being is. We, we truly don't understand what Mother Gaia can achieve. I'm getting tip of the iceberg, tip of the iceberg. We only, we've only, we've only gone to the tip of the iceberg of what the knowledge and the information. And if we could only just let ourselves go stretch our, our, our consciousness just a little bit farther, that we could there's so much more to learn. This is like, there's so much more to learn. They're saying what we are seeing here is just elemental. There's way more our consciousness cannot see or our whole energies that there's way more going on around us. In every place that we are, if they were showing us this to an extreme so that we understood that it's as if that we have been disconnected or not plugged into what truly is around us. And we're now coming online and we're starting to see what is around us. And the more we see, the more we'll remember. And this is how we create the new earth with Mother Gaia. As we begin to see not only with our eyes, but with our senses, with everything we feel, hear, and just know our intuitive. And then also with our third eye, we start to create reality, what is real, and connect that reality with everyone else. Until, so together, you bring it into the light where, where she belongs. If she's already there, we just have to bring our consciousness there. And I see like this big, huge, this big, huge, like, um, it's almost like there's like hundreds of people and they're holding this like big, huge tarp. 
and uh, the tarp is going up. It's like we're moving it back and forth. And I don't know what we're doing with this tarp, but if we all work together, we could do something where we can move this tarp and almost like put a whole new, um, we could actually cover the earth with this. It's, the tarp is like a shield or something. Like it's like we could we could make a whole new environment. And they're showing like everybody moving, everybody's moving different ways and shapes and trying to get this to like fit over the terrain of the earth. And they're saying like, you need all of you, all of you to do this, not just one person. We need all of the people to work together to fit the tarp over the top of the earth. Uh, this is bizarre. I, um, what I'm seeing is like um, chips going through this energy, and they get it's like when they get through it, it's like they just come out, come out into uh, overseeing like a different side of the earth, or like a it's like it brings them into this like um, a, I don't know it's like a multiverse. It's, it's almost like um, like a reality construct where they can go into different um, dimensions of Earth, like uh, like different dragon. If it's the dragon dimension or this dimension or that dimension, that they can attune their ships to this to the they go through the mountain range they go into the earth and they come through this like white light um and then it opens into this like other side of the earth that's got this different color it doesn't look like earth all of a sudden it's like green there's like green and red and um orange and different like all around and this i think it's just different dimensions of earth I, I think it's like when people talk about like the harmonic frequencies of going into different dimensions i think this is a way to access it from a ship from being in a ship so in, you got your inner earth obviously you got your you got your inner earth but it almost looks like there's there's like a portal that goes into this whole other reality matrix of dimensions of Earth. It's the different timelines. I'm seeing parallel, like multiple Earths, like they're all, they all vibrate at a different, yeah. different vibration. And they're just like, there's multiple, like I'm counting more than seven. If not more, there's more. Right. And they all vibrate at a different at a different speed. Yeah, I'm seeing them as different colors. Mm -hmm. Of energy, but it's still the same Earth, but it's different Earths, I guess. Right? Like it's. I don't know. It's almost like they're on top of each other and they're right. happening all at the same time and yeah. they're all in the same place, but like there's like seven different types or more. Right. So I guess there's a lot more to explore in this whole earth construct than You know, they're saying we don't we 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 think we got it figured out, but we only hit the tip of the iceberg when mm -hmm. we are learning the information when we're talking about moving to the new earth 
and all of the information that people are coming out with like the splitting of the earth how there's some people that talk about the earth literally splitting into two different separate ones they're saying this is only the tip of the iceberg that it literally splits into more than just the two but they are saying that we as humans can't get our it's it's too much in for us to figure out because we're living a very linear life and it's it's all about quantum physics and it's very hard to kind of get your mind around it but like everything is layered and everything is happening at the same time and they're saying they're saying that we have on these multiple earths, we have an aspect that's that's like David and Bonnie and Robin and all the other people that are here on the earth. We all have aspects that are living lives on all of these earths. I'm getting, getting from St. Germain that he was listening to our earlier conversation. And so he thought it would be fun to try to explain to us what we thought we were talking about. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, um, that is quite the rabbit hole. This is really heavy energy. It's purple and green and it's really strong energy. Yeah, no, I actually had to disconnect from the mountain. It was, it was getting too much for me to be connected. This is a little too much. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be connected yeah. for such a long time, right at the core of the mountain. It's, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. feeding. It's feeding through this whole way of of space travel. Mm -hmm. so, that was a little bit mind bending. I don't know what the purpose of all that was, but I don't know if it was just to um, inquiring minds or something. Well, you led us yeah. to the mountain, so. <laughs> I don't know. I just started blowing feathers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what the well, conversation was. Really, it, it was interesting because my last meditation was within a mountain, and it was volcanic, and they did healings within, and um, they were using different frequencies, and it was pretty cool. I'm seeing a lot of ETs on the other side. There's a lot of a lot of ETs on that other side, like mm -hmm. on the on the different kinds of Earths or whatever you want to call it. Like were all they just human, or like, were they just were they, were they humans, or were they different looking bodies? They were different looking for sure. Um, but I mean, I only I just was kind of peeking a little bit. Like I was just I didn't want to get caught up in that whole other mm -hmm. energetic system. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. I think this is. I think it's just to, like give us a little information because um, before you came, Robin, David, and I was talking about timelines, and you know, I'm sure there's Bonnie, Robin, and David somewhere else, but we might not know each other, or maybe we do. And so we were just talking along that line, and I think, uh, well, Saint Germain said he thought he would just. Uh, That's funny because I wasn't so even funny. hearing this conversation, and I'm. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit about what we thought we were talking about, but we really didn't understand what we were talking about. And I did my journaling today, and one of the things that was said to me, like right at the end of the journal journaling, is um, it says, uh, "What does it say?" They're like basically telling me that I have to um, work through the distortions um, from past from some of my past lives and stuff. But then they're saying, if you can work through that, a great journey, there's a chance to start a great journey. It's time to raise your gaze from mundane day to day to that which until now has seen beyond your grasp. Allow the new wisdom to guide you and stop trying to make sense of it. Like, don't even like try to make sense of it. That's yeah. what they're telling me today. And I think well, you, you, you <laughs> need like a, a like spaceship. Because what they're showing us, we really this. could make sense of. Yeah, you'd need a spaceship, and you'd have, to, you'd have to understand like the 
the programs and the ships and how they modulate and calculate and attune to dimensional travel. But remember, David, remember the work we were doing and we went to the inner earth and we opened up a portal in the middle of the earth and they were saying that that Mother Gaia is, is a, a dimension, like you can move from one dimension to the other through her and it had been closed for many, many Was that when I went over that long. circle? Remember the circle? Was that the time we yeah. the circle? Yeah. Remember they were telling us about that? Mm -hmm. And so maybe that's part of us reopening that. Maybe they're showing us the work that we're doing, look what's happened from that, you know, look or maybe happened. that's maybe oh. because they were telling us that they were open up that portal and they were going to be going in through and they were just like what you were explaining, David, mm -hmm. with the whole going down in and the ships. They oh, tried yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, they were saying yeah. that Mother Gaia. Right, right. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> coming to my mind while you were talking that yeah, we forget about all the work that we do and how we don't realize that we're instrumental to things that are happening. Um, but I think they're showing us what we've done, you know, what we've created by some of the grid work and stuff that we've been doing. Well, wow. if that's the case, then that would be pretty extraordinary backup support for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. If like that was closed, it's interesting. It's weird. It's weird. Um, I don't know if that means that the world is like a half circle. The Earth is like a half circle, or if it is an actual circle. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like if it's a sphere, maybe the other side of it is just a whole another. I'm seeing like I'm seeing like 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 portals, like circle, 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 like a mm. worm like and they just run through the grids right and yeah. then the center it was almost yeah because like i guess it's all energy it just looks physical to us right but yeah. it's really all energy. the center was the heart from another guy yeah, trying to That's for our what, minds to grasp it they're saying like basically just go with it <laughs> don't try to grasp it don't try to think how it works right. yeah I guess right. it's just the bottom line. It's just like just so much more that as we're expanding our consciousness that we're, we're, we're expanding into, right? Like, you remember, we're always like working on like bringing in the ancient, the Lumerian energies, the bay, the unicorns. Now we're running through energy vortexes and mountains and seeing parallel universes and worlds and realities. <laughs> so I we know. Have if, or a year ago, if we would have told you the stuff that we're seeing now, we would have just went. <laughs> You're nuts. So, yeah, you know what? Maybe you should. Probably everybody <laughs> thinks you are nuts. There's some people be like, "What are these people doing?" So yeah. the so the whole thing today, basically, we're just meeting up just to do kind of like a little update of what what we're doing in our lives. Is that what we're doing today, or are we just well, gonna? Yeah, I think it's just, just that we're, we're kind of running out of time. Bonnie's got to go, so maybe it was just that mountain activation. And, I mean, that mountain energy was pretty intense. Like, I could only take it for so long, to be honest. Yeah. That okay, guys. Yeah, I just think that we're just supposed to meant to, to just get together and just see what Spirit wanted to tell us. So, us. we just decided to get together and just play for a little bit. And um, we recorded it instead of going live today. And we will, um, Dave's going to put this up, right? You're going to put it up onto the YouTube channel? Yeah. Afterward. Yeah. And uh, so, thanks, guys. Uh, right. We don't have anything scheduled at the moment for Unity Circles or um, anything with community chats. If you're interested in having a Unity Circle, please let us know because um, we're, we've got an open schedule here. And I think we're going to try to do them on Wednesdays from now on going forward for a while. So if you would like to, if you have a topic and you have something to talk about or if you want to um, just come on and let us know who you are and what you do, let, let us know. Um, you can email us at, we'll put the links in below and um, you can email us at the new earth AC 1111 at gmail.com. And yeah. you want an update on the energies? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, we just have to say it's crazy. It's, it's kind of like, 
a lot of uh, Kashik records, a lot of released Shadow, Shadow, Shadow. How is it? Can we just go through? Like, how is it doing for you guys? Like, how are you feeling through this energy? Uh, how how are you feeling? Any like crazy, crazy expansions? For me, I'm, I'm just white knuckling it, just trying to get through all the different yeah. um, Kashik record releases and um, just. You know, are you energy. having a hard time with your body or like does it seem to be being okay this week i have a lot like, of joint, a lot of joint pain a lot of um, nausea and dizziness you know stuff like that mm -hmm. um headaches sometimes sinus stuff and so i seem to be kind of like um not being able to um, really focus on bringing anything through or um, creating anything, but I feel calm. I feel like happy and I just feel like, ah, <laughs> I won't say the word that I've been saying to you guys every day, <laughs> but I feel like just, whoa, like who cares? Let's, I know, I feel like Akuna Matata, right? Yeah. No worries. <laughs> That's the way I'm feeling. Yeah, oh, so the best of your days. <laughs> So just relax yeah no worries but i don't feel like accomplishing anything and i don't feel like i have to learn anything i don't feel like i have to channel anything write anything create a class you just have to be. Yeah. just be just be for now how do you feel david i feel i feel great i feel great um it's just um sometimes the energies are so big you got to keep yourself busy, breathe, go outside, clean, whatever, to keep your mind off of how crazy the energy is. But other than that, so. Mm -hmm. And try not to get distracted into the distortions. That's really the biggest thing right now, because there's a lot of distortions and a lot of distractions trying to keep you from focusing on being your pillar of light. So. Exactly. That is the update. Thank you for coming on this mountain journey. That would be fifty thousand spiritual dollars. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we'll let you go, David. You can end the recording.